Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And I have compiled a list on how to get rid of bed bugs. I'm gonna try to break it down as simple as I can with pesticides that I use and how to eliminate bed bugs easily on your own without having to hire a professional. So first, what you wanna do is you want to identify the bed bug problem that you have. Do you actually have bed bugs? Uh, there are three different varieties of bed bugs that could be in your home. There's a bed bug, there's bat bugs, there's chimney swift bugs, and they all look different. So you need to make sure that you actually have bed bugs before you start to treat for them. Do you have carpet beetles? Do you have mosquitoes? Maybe you have fleas biting you. Make sure first that you have bed bugs. And the way that we identify bed bugs is we check places that bed bugs like to live. For example, your box spring. So if you turn your mattress up, look underneath the mattress. Sometimes between the mattress and box springs, bed bugs will live there. Sometimes they'll live, if you have a king size bed, they'll actually live between the two foundations underneath the mattress. So you can pull those two foundations apart and look between them, and sometimes you'll find bed bugs harboring there. Also, where the mattress pleats around the edges of the seams of the mattress, you wanna peel those back and look behind them. Maybe bed bugs are there, they do live there sometimes. Also, the pleats that fold around the corners of your box spring and behind the little pieces of plastic guards on the corners of the box spring, those are also places you can check to find out if bed bugs are actually living on your bed. Uh, you will usually find uh, blood stains either on your pillowcases because you bleed when you get bit by bed bugs, uh, so the, the blood will collect on the pillowcase. Sometimes you will find bed bug droppings, which kind of resemble pepper flakes on the sides of your bed. If you push them or mess with them, they'll smear because it's basically it's dried up blood. That's what bed bugs eat and that's what they excrete when they uh, defecate. So you will find things like that on your bed. And so uh, keep an eye out for those specific signs. If you do not see any of those signs, it does not mean that you do not have bed bugs. It just means you may have a very mild case of bed bugs. And so still you want to follow the steps after identification. So even if you don't find bed bugs, you can still do a preventative bed bug treatment. And the thing is, even if you get bit four or five times at night, um, only one bed bug will bite you three or four times. So it could just be one or two. It may be the very beginning stages of a bed bug problem. And if you treat once, a lot of times you can eliminate that problem before it becomes too severe. Um, so you've identified you have bed bugs. Now what do you do? You have to clean up and you have to prepare your surfaces for treatment. How do we do that? Okay, so you wanna to try to get everything up away from your baseboards. You wanna to try to kind of pull things, pick things up around the house. Um, most people who have bed bugs don't really have a cluttered house. It's just bed bugs like to bite you. It doesn't mean you're dirty. It doesn't mean you're you know, not clean or whatever, but we wanna prepare the surface that we wanna treat so that we can do the job successfully. We wanna make, we wanna be successful and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I do. So you wanna take all the sheets, all the covers off of your bed. You'll wanna launder those. You wanna use high heat water and high heat dryer. If you've got any clothes you may think that the bed bugs may be in, you wanna do the same thing with those clothing uh, articles. If you have like maybe a laundry basket beside the bed, you wanna take those, that laundry out, you wanna re-launder and dry it on high heat to ensure that the bed bugs die in your laundry, that you don't end up spreading them from something that hasn't necessarily been treated. You can't spray your clothes with pesticide, but you can wash them and launder them and kill the bugs that way. So use that as a tool. The washing machine will help you eliminate bed bugs. If you have pillows, take your pillowcases off of your pillows, wash and launder your pillowcases, Take your pillows and launder them through the dryer if, if you can't wash them. You know, just read the instructions on your pillows. I know when I was a child, my mother used to wash pillows and then she would dry them with tennis balls inside the dryer so they would beat the pillows back out and you wouldn't have this big lumpy pillow. So that may be an option for you. So 
We wanna strip the bed completely down. If you have mattress encasements, take those off of your mattress, take them off of your box spring, throw them away, because when we treat, we wanna be able to treat the actual surface the bed bugs are living in, which will be in the box spring and on the mattress, and those will prohibit us from being able to do that. And not only do you wanna get rid of them, you don't wanna reuse them because the residual will be on the bed so that the bed bugs will crawl through it and die. That's what we want to do. And so that gets to step three, which is what to use and how to use it. So I recommend Crossfire. That's the chemical we're going to be talking about today. And so the way that we treat our mattress is we flip our mattress up. We treat around all the seams of the mattress, around the edges of the mattress. We want to treat the uh, surface area of the mattress, but really pay close attention to the seams of the mattress. Then we want to lift our box springs off of the bed frame. We want to treat the bed frame anywhere the bed forms a crack or a crease. Now, this is a bed here. The reason I'm doing this video in the bed is so I can show you. So in this crease right here, this would be a spot you would want to treat for bed bugs because the wood here, the headboard, actually hits against this post and that creates a crevice that the bed bugs can live in. So you want to treat every crevice like that on your entire bed frame. Uh, some bed frames are so intricate, you may be better off throwing your bed frame away. You don't have to, you can treat the bed bugs, you can kill the bed bugs. Don't think you have to throw away all your furniture in order to kill bed bugs, you do not. Because the chemical we're using is called Crossfire, it's labeled to use on your furniture. So we wanna treat the bed rails, we wanna treat the legs where they go down to touch the floor, we wanna treat any crack like that there, we wanna treat uh, the back of the headboard, so around behind the headboard back here, there's also like a lip there that you'll want to treat. Um, you know, all beds are made different, so based on your model, treat the cracks and crevices on your bed. Treat your box springs. Take the piece of felt off the bottom of the box spring. Treat inside the box spring. Treat around all the cracks and crevices in your box spring. Treat around all the staples. Treat behind those little plastic guards where, like I said in the beginning, where we try to find out if we have bed bugs or not treat behind those. You may even pull those off and just leave them off. Um, and so that's how we treat our bed. We also want to go through the house and we want to treat the baseboards throughout the house. So all around your baseboards, any crack where the baseboard meets the ground, you want to treat the crack. You want to treat the crack of crown molding all around, especially if you've done things like diatomaceous earth, because diatomaceous earth is not very effective at killing bed bugs. It's more effective at driving them into places that they normally aren't. So if you've done anything like that, you want to clean the diatomaceous up, the diatomaceous earth up, and you want to treat the cracks and stuff where you've applied it. You want to treat the cracks up tall, like in the crown molding, and you want to treat all the baseboards throughout the entire house. Flip sofas upside down. Treat around the staples of the sofa the same way you did your box spring. Treat uh, take the, the pillows off, take the, cat, the cushions off, treat down inside the springs of the, the couch. If your cushions don't come off, some cushions are sewn in, then you want to treat down around the seams of your couch the best that you can. Around the arms, where the arms meet, like where you would rest your arm on the armrest, that little cushion that forms there, you want to treat in those cracks really good. Bed bugs love to live there, and they'll usually bite you right on your forearm right there. So if you start getting bit in those areas, you know that to check your couch and the arms of your chairs. Also, lazy boy recliners need to be treated in the same way. So now for step four, let's prevent this from happening in the future. All right, how do we stop ourselves from bringing bed bugs back into our home? All right, well, sometimes you can't help it. If it's friends or family, sometimes you have to practice tough love and you have to say, look, until you get rid of your bed bugs, until you get rid of this problem that you're having, that you're bringing into my home, don't come and visit. Maybe you're not gonna be able to babysit their children anymore until they get rid of their bed bugs. Maybe it's friends and family that are coming for the holidays and you get this problem every year around Christmas or Thanksgiving. You have to tell them, look, let's go meet out to this year. Let's go to like Golden Corral or someone. Let, let's go somewhere else so that we don't pick up this problem. And don't go to their house because you'll bring them from their house home. Uh, don't frequent the same place as you vacation. So if it's the same time of year that you usually are getting these bed bugs, then you're fighting them for several months. You know, look and see where you went on vacation. Maybe you're going to the same VRBO. Maybe they have problems with bed bugs and you're bringing them home. So keep that in mind. Don't frequent the same places that you could be bringing bed bugs home. Do your children ride the bus home from school? 
If they do, you may want to think about picking them up from school or having someone else pick them up from school because bed bugs will live on school buses and typically I find that when children are coming home, they pick the bed bugs up off the bus, they get on their book bags and on their clothing and they bring them into the house from the bus. So it's a really good idea. I mean, it's not necessary to, to take them to school, although I do have some customers that do that. You're better off at least picking them up at school, bringing them home, or having a friend pick them up from school and bring them home because they definitely will bring in bed bugs from school buses. So uh, you can do preventative treatments in your home for bed bugs. You don't have to use Crossfire. Crossfire is what I use to eliminate bed bugs when there's an infestation. You can use Alpine WSG, which I will link both of those products in the description below. Um, but Alpine WSG is a really good chemical for prevention. It's also a good pesticide for things like cockroaches, ants, fleas, crickets, spiders, and lots of other bugs. So it's a general use. You can use it for bees and stuff that are getting in around your windows. Um, if you have flies and things coming in the house and bouncing around your windows and stuff because it's that time of year, you may have your windows open to enjoy a nice spring breeze. Um, keep that in mind. It does help a lot with other things, not just bed bugs. So hopefully this has been a educational video and it has helped you all be able to eliminate your bed bug problem. If you like the video, think of subscribing to my channel. If you really like it, give me a thumbs up and share this video around to all your friends. Thanks a lot and have a great day.